How to set up your controller for Mercy in Overwatch 2. Hey! So if you haven't seen my previous video on how to set up your pro controller for Lucio, I highly recommend you check that out first. With that in mind, I'll be showing you various different setups on custom remapping your pro or non-pro controller based on your own playstyle and preferred hero. This time with everyone's favorite Valkyrie, Mercy. Playing a hero like Mercy has a much higher skill ceiling than most players think, especially after her Overwatch 2 hero rework and this most recent patch update. Don't forget to check that out, links in the description below. While some players tend to value healing consistency and overall survivability, I argue that Mercy's most important strategic value is her decision making. Should you dive in in the middle of a firefight to rest a teammate, or just disengage and fall back to a more defensive line? Should you prioritize healing or damage boosting, and which heroes are best for pocketing with a Mercy? To make these decisions easier, you'll need a Mercy who can maneuver with complete control. And with the right button layout, your Mercy can be the most versatile hero in the game. First up, we have the standard layout. Just like in the previous video, I mentioned that some players will always be inclined to stick to the default layout. Keeping everything the same is highly recommended for those who tend to swap heroes more often than not. But if there's a setting for Mercy that absolutely needs changing no matter what, it would be the way Mercy's Glide, Guardian Angel, and Beam Connection works. First, open the menu and select Options. Press R3 and select Mercy. Now that you have Mercy on screen, tick Advance and scroll down to toggle Beam Connection. This one's a matter of preference, but I usually set this to On since it turns the beam into a Fire and Forget ability, and will be just one less thing to worry about while you're maneuvering around hostile projectiles. As for Guardian Angel Target Priority, set this to Prefer Facing Target, so you'll still have the secondary option of gliding towards your beam target when no other target is in the vicinity. And then for even more control, I make sure to disable toggle crouch and use the regular crouch option instead. This simplifies the matter of just letting go of the jump button to stop gliding. But as for the pro controller like the DualSense Edge, you can set the X button to the left back button, or LB, and then the circle button to the right back button, or RB. But feel free to swap these two if you wish. Next, we have the Super Jump layout. This layout will prioritize the reliable use of Guardian Angel, as well as staying in the air for as long as possible, all while maintaining your aim by never having to remove your thumb off the right analog stick. On the Controls panel for Mercy, scroll down to the Movement section and remap Crouch to L1, then Jump to L2. Next on the Weapons and Abilities section, remap Ability 1, or Guardian Angel, to L3, and then Secondary Fire, or Resurrect, to the X button. This ensures that all your skills that affect your maneuverability and beam connection can be accessible at all times, even while aiming. And then at the same time, having your sole single button press ability remapped onto the face buttons, where it's used less often. As for the Pro Controller, you can map the left back button for Resurrect and the right back button for the Ultimate Valkyrie. This will allow you to be almost completely independent of the face buttons. The Communicator layout is a lot like the previous layout. But instead of creating a duplicate button for Resurrect and Valkyrie on the back buttons, you'll instead remap the down D-pad to the left back button, and then the left D-pad to the right back button. This ensures that you'll be able to tag enemies that may be trying to pick you off, and also be able to communicate effectively without having to stop Mercy just to press the D-pad. Now for the Battle Mercy layout, you'll be needing a Pro Controller with back buttons for this one. With the same in-game control scheme as the Super Jump layout, remap the right D-pad to the left back button, and then the left D-pad to the right back button. This allows you to quickly switch to your sidearm, and still be able to tag enemies, all while keeping both your thumbs on the thumbsticks at all times. If you have your jump button set to L2, it's also recommended to have your left trigger stop to be set at its shortest configuration. And as for my own preferred controller layout, that would be the trigger beam layout. Back on the controls panel for Mercy, make sure your settings are switched back to the standard layout. Then, remap Crouch to the Circle button, remap Ability 2 or Damage Boost to L2, and your Secondary Fire or Resurrect to R1. You may also opt to remap Next Weapon to L3, or, if you prefer, go over to the Communication tab and remap Ping in World to L3. This preference would be dependent on whether you prioritize switching to your sidearm to play as Battle Mercy, or be a team player and tag your enemies respectively. Now as for controller sensitivity and aim settings, since I've already discussed this in a previous video, I'll just be showing my sensitivity settings here. Feel free to pause the video and copy these settings if you wish. There are so many ways to customize your button layouts for the Pro Controller of your choice, but these are the four I found most useful when playing Mercy. If you have your own preferred button layout, feel free to share it in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more of my custom layouts for other Overwatch 2 heroes, consider subscribing to my channel for future updates. GG everyone. Peace.